grateful to be back in Oxford um, with our group. I thought overall we had a pretty solid performance um, on both ends of the floor. We want to continue to get 1% better every time we're out. Um, I love the versatile, versatility in our team, different leading scores every night. And then defensively, we really stun people uh, with our presence. And, um, you know, as much as we would like to hold people to four points every quarter, I don't know that that's possible, but I thought the intensity was there uh, from everybody that played. Questions? You guys scored, I think, the first 18 in this game, led by as many as 48. What do you learn about your team in a game like this? Uh, you know, we, we, we lost a tough one to Utah, an opportunity that uh, we, we, we really wanted. Um, but evidently, we weren't ready to, to get over that hump yet. And um, it exposed us the two games, and which was great for us, and that's why we went. So I'm thankful that our administration allowed us to go. But one of the things that we want to do is just continue to build and get better every single possession because – we feel like we have a chance to be pretty special. You know, we have a variety of different people shooting the ball, um, getting to the rim. You know, uh, <clears throat> we just – there are little goals that we have that we're trying to make sure we stick to. For example, keeping our turnovers low, uh, rebounding the ball. Those are two things that we just have to do. And, and trying to keep people out of the bonus in the free throw line, and that's something that we need to just continue to improve on. You brought up that Utah game. That was, I think, a two-point mm -hmm. game. It's your only loss. Yeah. Right? The big win tonight. Yeah. Would you say this, this team is on schedule, ahead of schedule, behind? Where, where in the grand scheme of things? Honestly, <laughs> for me, I think they're a little ahead of schedule just because of the newness. You know, we have nine new players. I'm going to be completely transparent. I did not know what was going to happen in the Bahamas. Two NCAA tournament teams that were going to push and expose us. And they really rose to the occasion. I know we didn't win the Utah game, but we held them, you know, 30-plus below the average. You know, I mean, we, we really had an incredible game except for one or two possessions. And when you want to beat a ranked team, those one or two possessions come back to haunt you. Um, and then tonight, and we set this these back-to-back -back games up for a tournament feel. Um, and so I thought our team responded really well, you know, um, and, and um, <clears throat> I think that they're ahead of schedule just by a tad. Defensively, I'm really shocked how they're picking up uh, our system and what we want to do defensively. So I've really been proud uh, with that. And I know it's legit because we were able to do it against Utah and Dayton. And um, offensively, we're figuring things out. So. Um, I do not think we're where we need to be yet, which is encouraging for someone like me. I think our best basketball is ahead of us. I don't know that I want to be playing my best basketball in November, uh, but we're, we're on our way for sure. Monster double-double for Maddie today. What kind of tone did she set for your team? Uh, you know, I've been pr pretty hard on Maddie the last uh, 48 to 72 hours, just about her activity level and the, what she needs to bring and, and, and what she needs to do for us to, to uh, go where I think we need to go. And I think she really took it to heart. I saw her bring the post together after the game and talk to them. They had their own goals. And I was really pleased by her effort. We want Maddie to take 12 shots a game. Um, uh, we've given her the freedom. She has the same freedom that Snuda, that Angel has. I really don't limit my players on the offensive end. Defensively is where like I kind of go crazy, but offensively I let them do what, what they're capable of doing. So I was glad to see her break out of that shell and be intentional about scoring tonight. It's almost exactly a month until SEC play starts. What do you need to see between now and then? Uh, we want to continue to build up our depth. We really need it. We're going to need it. Our depth is going to be important. Uh, I want to see us starting to figure things out offensively. Uh, as um, better spacing, better shot selection. I thought we still didn't take great shots uh, to start off the game. Uh, defensively, I want us to continue to accept the challenge of sometimes being undersized but using our quickness 
um, to to kind of level that off when we go up against bigger, stronger uh, post players. And then little things like free throw makes, 50-50 balls. Um, I think if we do those things, we'll put ourselves in a good situation um, to – see postseason again at the end of the, and at the end of the year and I think to bring in new for nine new players and and accomplish that that's huge so that is our goal that's what we're striving for that's what we want to see as we continue to build people stepping up into their roles truly buying into it um and if we do that I think we have a chance to be pretty special how bad how badly did you want to get to 100 tonight <laughs> I didn't even care. Like, I I more so didn't want them to get to 50. <laughs> you know, that's how I, I'm defensive-minded. Um, I didn't – it didn't matter to me if we got to 100 or not. It's about defense. You know, I was really teed off on the second quarter. We gave up 17 points. I thought that we lost ourselves and started focusing more on the offensive end and defensive end. And and our group, we, we can't ever forget who we are. We are – we defend, you know. Um, we're the only staff in the country that wears We Defend shirts every single day. Like, we really believe in that. And so that's what I want to hang our, our hats on. And if we get to 100, great. Very aggressive on the boards tonight. Had 55. Yeah. You're talking about defensive law. You had 34 boards. Can you talk about what you saw from your team just crashing the boards? Well, I, I saw high activity level. You know, I, I challenged the guards to get in there and, and get at least two. I wanted every guard to get at least two rebounds. And for the most part, they almost accomplished that. <clears throat> and then obviously, you know, like I said, I, I, I had a meeting with Maddie, um, uh, Maddie's, uh, Taya, and Rita, and basically chewed them out. <laughs> I didn't think that they had been stepping up like they needed to step up. And as you can see, you know, 15 rebounds from Maddie, you know, six from uh, Taya, and then uh, Rita followed up with six. That is the type of activity activity level that I want for my interior players. And then obviously our guards have to get in there and rebound as well uh, to help us get to numbers like 55. Anything else? All right. Thank, Thank you. you.